Hi guys, we got some new products today. Pump by Grooming Department and the Razor Company. And then a new uh, fragrance house, Tempus Vitae Carpe Diem. All of these are extrait de parfum uh, concentration, so hang around. Hi guys, thank you for joining me for another shave and scent of the day. We're getting really close to Christmas. I'm getting ready, getting close to flying out to Nashville with the youngins and wife. A little nervous about it. We'll see how that goes. All right, so I just got this in the mail today um, from Jason at the Razor Company. This is um, a collaboration between the Razor Company and Grooming Department. Um, and this is Pump. This is in the new 2022 Donkey Base which Mo said is the, um, maybe the, the best redo of a base, uh, that he's ever done. The best retooling, um, beautiful rosy scent, but not, not grandma rose. Um, really nice. Let me give you the scent breakdown on this baby. Um, the donkey base is lamb tallow, duck fat, and donkey milk, a lot of other stuff, but those are the the player, but the big players. Um, and the scent is bourbon whiskey, dark rose, dark fruits, dark woods. Um, and so far I get um, a very interesting rose off of the top. It's got some sweetness to it from the whiskey. I can't really pick up too much of the woods right now, but you know, I mean, this is right off of the puck. This is just kind of um, a little first impression. Anyway, um, smells good. So that is the soap going on the kind of dark fruit note. Um, we're going to go with Captain, Captain's Choice 45th Parallel as the aftershave. Um, and then I got um, three new extra de Parfum um, samples from Tempest Vitae Parfums um, to, to check out and just, you know, just send them to me here see check them out see what you think about them um and i'm excited about this um so this will be my scent of the day i'll give you the notes on that in just a second uh, my brush is bobby moffett um sawdust creation studios this is the brush that i bought off of nate burgermeister also known as nate burgermeister um, and then speaking of nate burgermeister um, this is my gift from him a very fantastic gift the black lamb blackbird uh, this is the Brass Bird, um, and I haven't used a Voshkod blade in a really long time, so um, I'm going to revisit them. I've got one in here. Um, let me give you notes on this um, extract. Um, extract, the notes are bergamot, pink pepper, linden blossom, jasmine, marigold, sandalwood, oak moss, patchouli, and labdomen. Labdenum. Um, so I've got some of the some of the dark woods in there, um, and you know a deep kind of patchouli in there as well. So um, I think I think this will go together fine. Um, and if they don't, it really doesn't matter anyway, uh, because the the extra is going to hang around for a whole lot longer than any of this other stuff is. So um, it doesn't matter. You don't have to get too technical with it. Just do stuff that you want to enjoy, and then enjoy it. There. I said it. Mm. I love grooming department stuff. I'm really excited to get into this. Um, I've, I've never used the donkey base before. So I'm excited to see what this is. And then as excited as Mo was uh, when I was messaging him um, about this base, tells me that this is probably going to be something pretty special. The Mallard base um, is fantastic. I love that one. This one has duck fat in it as well, um, but a lot of other stuff too. I don't know that I've ever had anything with donkey milk in it before, um, so we'll see. I'm sure it's going to be great, but I'm excited to get in here, we'll load it nice, and then, you know, this is a new base for me, so of course I'm going to going to soak it with water and see what it will do. So if you don't like watching the lathering process. Um, and I saw a comment on Facebook today about someone that was like, it's a waste of time. Well, fast forward. No issue. 
if you don't want to see it great but you know like I learned uh, coming up I learned from watching people do it um, and so I continue to do that if it bores you definitely move on no problem oh you know sometimes you can pick up a little something um, you know watching people lather so I think there's something for it I mean I've changed my techniques you know a little bit or tweaked them over time watching other people do it um, and they give me good ideas um, and that's worked out well for me so never close your mind a closed mind will never learn unless it's the hard way I just think everyone out there um, can teach you something if you are willing to learn things. Um, and you know, maybe your technique is perfect and you don't need any help and that's fine. That's why you've got fast forward. You can move on. No muss, no fuss for the rest of us, whatever that means. Mm. Starting to get some woods in there. All right, we got super bougie water today. And we're gonna get a bunch in there. Early Merry Christmas to everyone. I'm going to try to do a shave again um, Thursday before we fly out super early Friday morning. That is my plan, but as you know, plans don't always come to fruition. So we'll see, but it is my plan. But if I don't, early Merry Christmas to everyone. Happy holidays, happy whatever you celebrate. As long as you celebrate some kind of family, whatever that means to you, then it's a good holiday in my opinion. See, it's starting to get a good shine in it. Look at that shine. I think we're gonna be good here. I mean, it's super shiny, a lot of water in there. I think we will go with that. Definitely a little bourbon-y scent in there, a la um, Barrel Proof. Um, fruity, rosy, Barrel Proof. That's what I get so far, and I like it. And you guys probably know I'm not a big rose fan, uh, but this is not overly rosy. Well, but it, it, it's not overly rosy. It is rose. It is rose. You will pick it up from the beginning but it's not it's not that cloying super sweet rose that your grandmother wore um it's not that at all this is just a very nice um pretty complex so far lighter um 
I like it so far and I don't like rose. So that'll give you some kind of idea. All right, let's get in here. I've had a fairly busy day so far. Well, I slept in, but after that, it's been fairly busy. And now I'm just getting my relaxed time. Did make some pasta salad for tonight. Prepped some ingredients to make steak and cheeses. I'm excited for that. I have not eaten yet today, so I'm starting to get kind of hungry. And it's uh, 4 o'clock Eastern time, so, you know, I should probably eat at some point. But I'll make up for it with a good dinner tonight. It's, uh, pasta salad's got a ton of vegetables in it. Got to get in the good stuff. If you're going to be eating steak and cheeses, you better do something. Maybe not the healthiest meal in the world. No, I mean, it is lean steak, so. That's better. We've got some fruit to go with dinner. A lot of vegetables, not very much pasta in the pasta salad, so pretty balanced. Did any of you win anything off of the the big show? the other night smiles for miles the wet shaving store bbs live I mean, just a ton of people on there i hope you did if you did comment what you won Unfortunately, I did not get to see the live. I had some other, some other um, prior engagements. Some other stuff that I needed to take care of, or be a part of, rather. But I love when people win. This community is awesome. Really nice base so far. Slickness is excellent. Really enjoying this razor. Got just a just the right amount of blade feel, I think, for like a daily shaver. For me. If I shave daily. Which I don't. I used to, but I just don't make the time to do it now. And I had to use milder equipment when I was shaving every day. I don't always like to use milder equipment. Sometimes I like the big guns. I just like how incredibly close that they 
still are, you know, the next day. But it's too much. It's too efficient for me to shave that way every day. I'm wearing my skin out. Really nice razor to work with. Um, nice weight on it. Heavy, but not not so heavy that it makes you overshave. Get that drip. I'd say there's enough water in there. super slick another great formula by Mo at grooming department it's a nice guy as well nice to talk to very passionate about his craft Always trying to make something better. Can't tell if it's cut or not. If I can't tell, then it's not right. This razor is pretty easy to get around the nose. Not super nimble, but pretty good. Anything that, you know, where the blade doesn't come exactly to the end is always gonna be a little less nimble than some of the others. You can see the edge right there, uh, but this one does a pretty good job. I didn't have to do too much work up there. All right, let's do just a little cleanup. I'm not sure if there's anything left to clean up, but we'll give it a try. A little more of the woods starting to show up now. Fruity. Very nice scent. Very nice.
Not much of anything left there. That's it. That's perfect. Great shave. here. Hey Jackson. A little cold water rinse. We're almost to winter here, so it is cold water. It's quite cold water. Whew. Make your face perk and pucker a little bit, perker a little, perk, make you perker up a little bit. Just rinsing out my brush. Mm. This is the way to start your work week. I worked this weekend, so today was my day off. Ooh. Getting in a nice afternoon shave. I love doing that on my days off. I just I got extra time. I don't have to speed through the shave. I, I mean, I don't ever really speed through the shave, but you know, I got time to have a leisurely, leisurely, leisurely shave. I mean, I can't speak, but I know what I, I know what I want to say. Maybe you don't. All right. Give her a little rub down. I love this brush and this knot. I've used it so much. It's really nice and broken in. I mean, it is gel tipped, but still, even a gel tip, it still needs to be broken in. The rest of it, the part that's not bleached. All right, hang this up. We'll finish this up. Gotta get my geode out of there. All right. Now we're gonna keep the dark fruit motif going. I really like this aftershave. This is an alcohol aftershave. Mm, really nice cherry. Very nice. Good stuff. Just a classic aftershave. There's not a ton of stuff in here. Um, alcohol, witch hazel, essential oils, and extracts, glycerin. I mean, just a pretty, a pretty basic aftershave, uh, but it's nice. I don't see any. This is where I cut myself the other day. Um, and it's not bleeding, so good the post shave I can feel already in here is nice from the soap um, actually you know what why don't we hit it with a little ball or two no nah, I'm not going to this feels nice I'll be putting some oil on my face before I go to sleep anyway so I'm not going to worry about it alright and this is Tempus Vitae Parfums and this is Carpe Diem. Um, and once again, I'll get you the notes again. Uh, bergamot, pink pepper, linden blossom, jasmine, marigold, sandalwood, oak moss, patchouli, and lab denim. Mm. And it, it is a Shepra, um, which is a classic fragrance family. Um, and I think you guys know that I like Shepras. Uh, Le Grand Shepra. Uh, Mille Chipra that I just showed you um, on the last shave. Mm. That's nice. I mean, bergamot makes everything kind of, it kind of brings things up. Um, you know, 
with a lot of those notes and can get too dark and cloying. Uh, but the bergamot is just a nice citrusy blast, just kind of pumps everything up. Um, really nice. Definitely some, some fruity notes in there. Definitely sandalwood. Really nice. Um, I will be doing some more on all three of the samples that I got. Um, I may do I may do one video showcasing all of them to kind of show you what they're like. Um, Tipus Vitae Parfums. Um, you can find them on the internet. Um, Tipus, Vita, Tipus Vitae Parfums.com. Um, and it shows uh, the three products that they have currently and um, what the note breakdowns are. Um, so I hope you will check them out. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope to see you again before Christmas, but if not, Merry Christmas. Um, I hope everything is great. I hope you have a wonderful fellowship time with whatever your family is, um, and I hope you're nice to people. Happy Hanukkah. And happy Hanukkah as well. See you on the next one. Peace. Enjoy.